Hello friends, welcome to Programming Knowledge. So, uh, we are continuing the React Native series. And in this video, we are going to learn how you can use list component in your app. So, whenever you have a list of items or a list of numbers or whenever you need to display the a list of uh, some components, then you can use this list component that provided by React Native. So first of all, uh, create a new project. I already created one. So create a new project and open it with Visual Studio Code. Okay, so let me just run it. For that, we need to write npm start. And you can view this output in Android simulator or iOS simulator. So I already opened the iOS simulator. You can also use the Android simulator. Okay, so Metro Bundler is started. Let me just turn on iOS simulator. If you are using an Android simulator, then you need to click on this. Okay, so our app is started now. Uh, we don't have any component right now, so you are not seeing anything. So let me just first create an array or list so that we can use it to display on this screen. Okay, so we are going to use state. Let's say fruit. function to set fruit in this we are going to use an array let's uh, open Mango. And let me just again use mango. Okay, so this is our list. Uh, we have created a list of fruits or you can say array of fruits so we can cycle through uh, through these array one by one and for that we have a specific function provided by react native it's called map function so in the view we use fruit because it's our array we can use the map function okay so this is how we can use the map function so first of all you need to understand a very important thing about list is that in list it may be possible that you have a uh, multiple same components like here uh, mango occurs two times so there needs to be a method that react can identify that uh, this 
list members are all individual so for that you need to use a unique key for each of the element so we need to provide a key as well okay so now we have five elements and all the elements have a unique key so here we can display the element so we will return okay so now we return the elements that we have created in our fruit list so first of all we create a view component then we create a text component and in text component we will be displaying all these elements so first of all we need to give it a name so every item in this uh, list when map function cycles through it will be calling item you can name it whatever you want so we want item and the name of it because this is an object so we need to write the name so let me just save it okay so here yeah, as you can see we have all the elements that we have created and we also got a warning that each child in a list should have a unique key so in view component we need to specify the key that the specific key element belongs to the key element the item as you can see the warning has gone so this is basically uh, how you can create all the elements so let me just styling a little bit style is equal to let's say item and we'll be creating this item here okay let me just increase the font size to let's say 22 background color let's say yellow margin top um, 20 heading is let me just save it as you can see uh, we got the uh, list of elements so let me just remove this one okay now that's better okay so let me just create uh, some more elements so that we can fill up the list let me just 
Kana na anything also repeat orange okay so but we need to give the unique key let me just refresh it okay and let me just remove the margin top okay last will be orange okay so this is i wanted to show you that the list exceeds our screen space so the last one is the orange but here we got the banana as the last so mango and orange to are at the bottom of the screen and as you can see we can not scroll it so when your list component has uh, um, uh, with, when your list component has more elements that you can fit on the single screen then you need to use the scroll view so that user can able to scroll first we need to import then we need to enclose the entire fruit list scroll view so, okay, so hopefully now we can scroll it down as you can see so this is how you can use a list element and uh, using map function you can cycle through all the elements that you created in the list uh, the, this is basically uh, is more useful when you create a app like to do list where you need to uh, create a list of tasks that is created you can also use this to go for service app that what type of services the app provides and you can list down all so that's for this okay. thanks for watching